Hello Art 173. We're going to take a look at preferences. Uh, this is one of the few things that is in a different place on Mac and PC. Um, I'm on a Mac and my preferences are right here. Uh, on a PC I believe it's under the edit menu and I do believe control U should work to bring up the uh, preferences pane anyway. So I just wanted to take a look at this for a moment and just talk about a couple of things. Um, I'm not going to go through all of this, uh, but I'm going to go through a few things that are interesting to us. For the most part, we're going to use all the defaults, and that's going to be fine. Um, but I just wanted to show you that this is here, and um, these are just some general preferences. Um, under code coloring, if you want to play with the colors of your code, you can. You can change themes. I'll just leave it on classic because it's no big deal to me. And code hints right here is a very good one to take a look at because this will help you um, if we're writing in code view to close the tags automatically. Um, and you can do that after typing the closing slash or you can do that after the typing the open tags um, greater than. So either one of these options are a good one. I wouldn't use never uh, never. I'm going to just leave it on the default. So the other one is good too. So copy and paste is another area that I'm interested in and I do want to change the paste to a text only paste. And the reason for that is because when you copy and paste text from websites and Microsoft Word or whatever you're going to bring along with it a lot of formatting and it's going to be a giant mess and I don't want to see that. I want to see good clean pages. Um, okay, so the rest of these I think by and large don't really concern us. We can keep all these at the defaults. The fonts, I'm going to go into my code view font and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger than 10 point so that Hopefully it's a little more legible. Maybe I'll even go to 14 point. And um, that's just for you so that you can read the code if you're gonna if when we look at code without having to kill your eyes. Um, if you would like to change that, then obviously go ahead. Um, I'm gonna leave this stuff all at the defaults. The new document window is gonna be left at the defaults if you're on Creative Cloud. Um, versions that will be using the HTML5 default document type. If you're on CS6 or earlier, you need to change this. It'll probably start on HTML4.01. I can't remember if it's transitional or strict, but it's going to be on one of these two. And I want to change the default document type to HTML5. Again, if you're on Creative Cloud, it's that automatically, so it doesn't matter. Um, Preview in browser is going to show up or should show up with whatever browsers you have installed. And we can set these as primary and secondary browsers. And this really has no meaning other than to set to give it a shortcut key. So I'll give the Google Chrome um, actually, I take that back. I'll make Google Chrome my primary browser and I'm going to make Firefox my secondary browser. And like I said, the primary and secondary thing, it doesn't matter. It's just giving it a shortcut key. One is Option F12 and the other is Command F12. If you're on a PC, it's going to be Alt F12 and Control F12. So that's all good. Um, I think Site preferences can be left at the defaults. Uh, sync settings you won't see in any version earlier than Creative Cloud as far as I know. And you can sync up your preferences with other, um, you know, if you're using Dreamweaver at other stations, which is kind of nice. Um, the validator we will use only for extra credit and you can leave these settings again at the default. Um, and window sizes, this will let us look at the web page in a couple of different window sizes. 
um, like smartphones and tablets and stuff like that as well as typical computer screens. Again, um, just leaving it at the default, just letting you know these are here. So I'm going to click apply and I want to do one more thing. Well, I guess it's applied and I'm going to click close. <laughs> I was expecting the window to close when I clicked apply, but apparently it doesn't do that in this version. Um, up here on the top right where it says um, extract, well, mine says extract, yours might be different. This is called the workspace, and in Creative Cloud there's only three of them. Other versions have different workspaces. I'm going to be working in design, and what this does, this does not change anything that Dreamweaver does. Um, what it changes is just what tools are being shown to you, what panels are being shown to you at any given time. So these are called workspaces and you can use this as the default, which I'm going to do for these lectures um, just for simplicity. But you can also tear these panels off and that just means grab the tabs and move things around and you can change things around to you know whatever you want it to be you can open other windows and add those windows to your to your setup that you're creating here and then when I get all that stuff set the way I want it to I can click new workspace and I could save this workspace with my um, preferred layout especially if you got two monitors that's helpful uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to use design. And now that I've changed things around, I'm going to, well, you know what? Before I reset it, let me show you something just to make a point. Um, if you get all of your tabs exploded and get very confused looking at a blank page, what you can do is click reset design or anytime things go sideways, you can click reset design and that will give you back the default design view and that's primarily what we're going to work in um, this semester so uh, that's where I'm going to stick that's what I'm going to stick to and you can feel free to take a look at some other stuff if you want or set up your own okay so those are just some basic preferences